here. What do you have to say about all the recent violence? We have men in the field, boys. Sheriff's department is on. When will some arrests be made? Any day now. Have you lost control of the city? How much time has passed? Because last episode, Richard got all his guns out, and yet he didn't use them? Instead, days have passed since he did that? Let's get something straight. Nucky Thompson doesn't run this city. I do. Love. <laughs> <laughs> Call Tori, I'll tell him the deal's off. You know, the deal's with me. What's a handshake with you supposed to be worth? I will enter the boardwalk. Down by Margate. See if we can't get Rosetti to stick his head up. So Torio doesn't even know about any of this? Doesn't Torio miss? Hell. How many men I gave you? 43. How many of my men do you have left? 31. Plus nine of my own. I'd like to go in, please. Dear, I have your lunch. Why would there be three guys sitting outside this room? I just can't imagine that Jip ordered them to do this. For Jillian, just to protect the boy. Surely his men are more important than that. Why don't you come out and we'll eat together? Would you like that? Then I'll come in and sit with you. That way it won't be so lonely. Whatever you do, don't kiss his winky. <laughs> All right, darling. Are you giving easily? I understand. You used to be a mother? It's over here. However this plays out, no one's gonna come within a hundred yards of me. Not in Atlantic City, not in New York, not anywhere. Maybe try Canada. Maybe they haven't heard yet. Who's your partner? Nobody. Who do you buy from? Some chick. Which one? The fuck do I know? You could disappear. Why are you sweating so much? The other two? I'm not sweating at all. Maybe it's best we let you conduct your business without distractions. Tommy and I go someplace else. Just for a bit. I don't think I want that. I like having you around. Then how about Tommy goes someplace else alone? Hmm? I'm gonna treat you like a queen. Up there on a pedestal. And where are you? I'm way down below. Like a little bug. Crawling around in your toe. <laughs> This is Arnold Rothstein. I was hoping to speak to your brother. Jim. It's him? How is Nari supposed to know who you mean? Were you just discussing him or what? Your distillery in Pennsylvania? For a percentage of ownership, I can arrange for Joe Masseria to back away from Jip Rossetti. How much of a percentage? 99. <laughs> That's very generous to leave him 1%. <laughs> Seriously, why isn't he going for the full 100? Have you lived here long, Mrs. Hollis? I'd say it's 16 years. Harold has a sister in Bushwick. Is Margaret applying for a job as a maid or what is this? Why don't you show Mrs. Rowan? Mrs. Rowan, uh, the room. Oh, um, it's about an abortion. That's right. What a waste. Two episodes ago that late surprise. Just to make it more emotional. She's pregnant. And now we get rid of it. Cool. The fuck? Toto. Sonio content with that bomb. And you? I sorry. I never know your name. <laughs> I tend to forget his name, too. If I may inquire, how did you obtain that? Charlie gave it to my associates. Sam, Gaetano, if you would. How you doing, kid? You treat you too rough? You can always file a complaint with the department. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? Charlie. I worked for that! I busted my ass for that! It was my idea! My deal! Charlie. You wouldn't lift a finger. Sit behind your desk making phone calls! I'm not there in the fucking world! Charlie, if you don't shut up, we're both dead. Yes! 
take it from him. He knows how to survive these situations. <laughs> what is it you're intending to do to me? You're the one who has to do something to someone. I'm gonna break you in half. Split you right down the middle. When I'm done, there won't be nothing left but a wet spot and a hunk of hair. Mm -hmm. Isn't he usually the one who gets broken? Yeah. You're a worthless piece of shit. <laughs> you got that right, dude. <laughs> you laughing at me? Why wouldn't I? Everybody else does. <laughs> it's not tight enough, is it? No. Not for an ape like you. No. Uh, <sighs> hurt me. Hurt me what? Hurt me, please. <sighs> <sighs> What the fuck? How did he know? Uh, uh. Was that an overdose or what? Did he even do it? The fuck? The fuck is going on? No, Richard storms this place and kills him, huh? <laughs> Unless he's still watching his guns. Oh, there he is! <laughs> No, no, no! That wasn't really a smart choice, though, for a trained soldier to come in here with a sniper rifle. Put the gun down. Why did you even wait here with the boy? Why didn't you try to get out? Tell me, close your eyes. <laughs> Dude, are you kidding me? Without aiming? It was just pure luck. Come on, back to Chicago. Back to Chicago? Rossetti's still alive. You came. I was good. I did one. I went upstairs like you said to. The man. He... Is she 13 again or what? He did something very bad to me. Ah, oh, piss off with your little sob story that happened century ago. Who is it? Can you there? see him? It's not our blood. Then who is it? Uh, we don't really know their names. Upstairs. French room. I need to know what's going on. Just take them up. Not now. Julia. Please. All of a sudden, Daddy's the reasonable one. You don't come home like this. Whatever battle you're fighting, that's not what a soldier does. I'll talk to her in the light of day. No. <laughs> He's safe. Is Daddy a good man now all of a sudden just because Richard kicked the shit out of him once? It has come to my attention that a certain business enterprise of mine has been illicitly commandeered by a criminal organization. Apprehend and indict anyone associated with its illegal operation. Who are we talking about? Arnold. Arnold. How did he know that Mellon had to hear that name in that moment. He couldn't hear the conversation, only what Mellon said. No attention to details. Once again. <laughs> he sold him out. <laughs> Obviously they found him. In his little hiding spot. Funny Google! <laughs> So what about the other two guys that were standing there? They were in on it? How? I just want to talk. That's all. How did you find her? Uh, Your life is with me. You're spoiled for anything else. You need to ask yourself how much you're willing to sacrifice just to prove some point that doesn't matter to anyone. I will leave a trail <laughs> behind, leading to your car. Maybe she will get in. This is only money. 
It doesn't mean anything. It's unholy blood money. <laughs> what about Eddie actually? Is he better? Not a word about Eddie the entire episode.